В романе Нила Геймана американский The novel American Gods by Neil Gaiman describes the battle between gods who were brought over by the immigrants to the United States. They are battling for human lives and the territory of influence. Do gods have a right to infiltrate foreign territories with their programs? How is it perceived by Mother Earth? Does she protect her children, meaning the tonic tribes of native Indians? It's a good question. Thank you, colleague Olga. It will be my pleasure to try to elaborate on it. Let's start with the end. Mother Earth perceives such games of her children just like any mother would perceive the games of her children. In this sense, a fragment from the Babylonian myth Enuma Elish about the goddess Tiamat would be very revealing. Tiamat shared and described her reaction to such rowdiness of her children. It is written there that when her children gods became too rowdy outside on the surface, her spouse informed her that tolerating all the noise, the ruckus and overall the complete mess, plus the absence of any kind of spirituality was becoming unbearable. To which Tiamat said, let's kindly wait. Those are our children, let's kindly wait. And any time her enraged spouse approached her complaining that he wasn't able to sleep, her answer was, let's kindly wait. This is a precise description of how the earth views such things. With kindness, because these are just children. From our point of view, it is presented as a terrible injustice. But parents see their children's shenanigans in a totally different perspective. They are just children, they say. In the novel by Neil Gaiman, we have a very skillfully described story of the relocation of gods. The old gods found the opportunity to manifest themselves on a territory that wasn't occupied by anyone. It's not exactly like the Elysium, but more like a playground. This territory was initially intended to be some type of a playground, with enough room from everyone. This manifested itself through people. They simply became a reflection of this room. Yes, America is a land of immigrants. Yes, everyone was bringing their own gods, spirits, demi-spirits, their demons, demi-demons. They brought everyone. There was enough room for everyone. And the gods would eventually fight some of the forces. And in the human world, it would find its reflection as the battle between the white intruders and the local tribes. The intruders, in their turn, started killing each other later. And it also found a reflection in the human world. The human world always reflects what is happening in the world of gods. Sooner or later, things got settled. And little by little, it all came to a consensus. This consensus brought about a development, an additional development of the civilization, a unique civilization, the analogies of which do not exist in any other world. Now it is coming to an end, just like anything else would. For gods, it's just a game. But for people, these are lives, destinies, faiths, that are fortunate, as well as broken. It is a sea of blood, a great happiness and a great sorrow, because people and the forces that we call gods perceive things differently. All these processes are manifested through people. Earth doesn't look at them. She looks at the gods and sees that it's just a game to them. And as long as the gods are playing, there is nothing to fear. But when the game approaches the end, and this becomes apparent by the people's condition, then she enters the game. The Enuma Elish also describes Tiamat going against the gods she once created, when things had reached their limit.
This novel is an exceptionally talented piece of work. I won't say that it is genius, but definitely very talented. Just as talented as Neil Gaiman himself. Not only this work, but many others of his works are very talented too. It is worth reading this book, since it contains a large number of magical cues. Neil Gaiman himself knows the mythology very well, and has been able to describe it in a way to simultaneously stay politically correct and not to distort the truth at the same time. In these regards, the book is a success.